everyone, Mary Hardists, I've got some questions for you today. First of all, have you ever just kind of been a little frustrated that pastels are kind of too messy to take out and do uh, just some little sketching, maybe carry along with you wherever you're going? And you see those watercolorists out there and they just pull out their little book and their little palette and they go to town? Um, have you ever wanted to increase the amount of time that you spend painting plain air, but you just don't want to haul all that uh, equipment out every time you go? You want to just be able to grab it and go. Well, I think I have a solution for us today and I want to share it with you. This will be my review of the Heilman Single Sketch Box. I purchased it at IAPS and I just want to share it with you. I have had a Heilman um, box for uh, since last October. I purchased one to go on a workshop, a plein air workshop with Karen Margulis. And I was uh, so intimidated by the price. But I went ahead and saved up and got it, and I was super glad I did. And I have taken that thing everywhere. I've taken it all kinds of places and set up and painted with it. It is fabulous. It takes care of my pastels and has them ready for me. And so I was really happy uh, that I went ahead and spent the money. It was definitely worth it. But did I need another Heilman box? Possibly. I started thinking about doing more sketching out. I carry my plein air setup in my car all the time. But every so often I would think, I want to get out and paint, but I don't want to haul out that big backpack with all my equipment. I just want to stop here, um, sit in the car, and do some sketches. Or I've thought about like going to um, coffee shops and stuff like that and, and doing some sketching. But to pull that big Heilman box out, uh, which uh, it's the backpack, by the way, it, and, and pull it out, put it on the table, I think that might um, be somewhat uh, objectionable to uh, the restaurant owners. It can look messy and that sort of thing. So I, I was looking for another way. I was looking for something that would get me painting even more because that's my goal, is to paint more and more. And um, I went to IAPS and there was the Heilman booth and so I went shopping. I knew um, that I wanted to get a different size easel. But of course while I was there I saw several other things. And one of the things that they had there was their single sketch box. The single sketch box was open, it was just sitting there, and I began to look at that and wonder about it. Is this a good option for me? And so I asked some questions about it, I looked at it, and then I talked, to, I actually saw Karen Margulis, and I said, Karen, talk to me about that single sketch box, and she said, you will definitely, the way you paint, the way you do studies out and in plain air, you will really... Uh, benefit from having this. So I walked over there and went ahead and purchased it. And they shipped it to me and it arrived uh, the day before I even got back from uh, IAPS. So this is the single sketch box and I want to share with you how it works. It's very small. You can see I have this little makeup bag that I've had forever in the day and I've used it for different things, not ever use it for makeup. And I have put all kinds of art supplies and stuff in it. This little box is so small that it will fit in this makeup case, making it super easy to carry. And if I need to carry anything else, there's still plenty of room for other supplies if I need them. This makes me happy. It really does. It's very small, so there are some other things that um, it doesn't have that the other Hallman boxes have. For instance, it doesn't have any um, uh, loops for carrying it over your shoulder, and it also doesn't have the little brace here that when you open it, it holds it open. 
It doesn't need to because it doesn't have pastels in both sides. So let me um, open it up for you and show you what it looks like when it first comes. It comes looking like this. This is um, the, the way that it uh, looks whenever you open it up. And um, the way it's designed is these little uh, keys turn and you lift off this lid which is padded on the back and it fits in here and you have your pastels ready to go. It comes with these little uh, holders for your uh, papers and, and um, your surfaces. Um, unfortunately, mine arrived with this one, it just pops off. So uh, it's not useful to me. And I thought about gluing it back on, but I contacted uh, Karen who has one herself and she said she never uses that anyway. So uh, I asked her what she did use and she explained. So I'm going to share that with you. I want to let you know that I'll be using this to demo these pastels that are in here. There's some, um, some new pastels that I've never tried before. And so I filled this with only those and I'll be reviewing those as well. These are square ones or whole binds. There are a few schminkies. Um, and then there are some Diane Townsend's that are in here and I'll be sharing about those in a later video but for now I just want to show you how I decided to set up my Heilman box as I set it down you're gonna see this is a really cool little thing because it will hold the it works as an easel you just put it out and then set it down and your box lid stays up so that you can paint on it. Uh, realizing that I didn't have this part to use and that there was maybe a better solution, I went looking for one this morning and I came up with uh, this which is just a piece of mat board and some uh, bankers clips, not bankers clips, um, binder clips uh, to hold on the pastel. Now expect to be working small if you're going to use a single sketch box. Um, so, and that's fine. That's, that's all you need for something for a small setup that you want to do quick sketches for. And um, it, it fits perfectly inside this little um, holder right here. One thing I did discover is that this will move back and forth um, and I solved that just by using uh, another binder clip on the side over here. It will fit over the lid onto the foam there and now it won't slide and I can put that down and it fits right in there and it doesn't slide and I can work on it. When you're done, you just pop this off, put it down, it's padded onto the pastels, turn your keys to secure everything, and you can store your paper in here. I've got some paper here, and I'm just going to put them in there. If you've got a painting going on here, just get some wax paper, tracing paper, or I've got a piece of glassine here to put there. This will even fit if you put it kind of in the middle. Close your box. Um, getting the lid in the right place is very helpful for closing it. And I'm having trouble with that. And close it. Put this down. If you do end up needing a ham handle, I did test whether the easel would work as a handle, and it does. It's perfect for that. So, now I've got my Heilman Designs box, my sketch box. It'll fit inside this little bag, or any other smaller bag that I might want to carry art supplies in. It's not very heavy, 
and I can pull it out in a restaurant or in the car and just go ahead and paint. So I'm expecting this to encourage me to paint more, paint more often and paint more different subjects because I'll be out um, and I can just paint whenever I see something. So I hope that review was very helpful for you. Um, and I hope that you can find some ways to get out and paint because that's the goal. We make a difference when we paint. And we make a difference in ourselves and a difference in the world. And I think the Heilmans are making a difference in the world too. So I hope you'll check out the single sketch box and I hope this review was helpful for you. If it was, I sure would appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. And if you'd hit the subscribe button and the bell, it will let you know whenever I have a new video out. And I have to say, more videos are coming because I bought a lot of stuff at IAPS and I'm going to review as much of it as I can for you. And then if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at EstherLJones dot, as in D-O-T, com. Or you can check me out at my website and blog, www.estherljones.com, and on Facebook at that same place. So, I hope to see you soon. I will be posting a newsletter. I do that about quarterly, starting next week. Those newsletters have discount codes in them. So I encourage you to go to my website and sign up, not for the website, although I invite you to do that too, but sign up for the newsletter so that I can send it out to you. And it'll be going out late next week. All right, my merry hearts, go paint. See you later.